be blessed by the divine is a person with kundalini powers equal to god what is god let's go back in time where did i inherit my kundalini powers from obviously from my parents they have life force and therefore from there i inherited it where did they inherit it from their parents and so on and so forth you keep going back in time you will reach the first human being who was born where did that first human being inherit his or her life force from it must have come from animals because that seems to be the most widely accepted evolutionary theory today and the rishis and our spiritual gurus believe that this life force have come to us from these animals where did the animal get its life force from perhaps from a lesser form of an animal and if you go back in time further it would lead us to the first cell organism so called the amoeba and where did that amoeba come from the earth itself where did the earth come from the earth came from water water came from fire fire came from air air came from this subatomic energy particle called akash or ether energy particles where did the ether energy particles come from there are zillions of ether energy particles across the universe the entire universe is made up of these wonderful tiny little subatomic energy particles these energy particles must have evolved from a self compressive all mighty force the mightiest of all forces in this universe because if you split an atom you can power the entire city if you fuse two atoms together you can perhaps destroy the entire city you can also do the other way around there is so much of energy that can emanate from inside an atom if there is so much of infinite energy that can exist within an atom where did it get its infinite powers from it must have come from this almighty primordial state of energy compressive state and from that beautiful energy state this energy particle must have emanated they combine to form the panjabudas and the earth and the amoeba and the different animals and the human being and evolved into us as the kundalini shakti and therefore we are nothing but a fraction of this totality we are a portion an extension of the almighty god whether you no kundalini meditation whether your kundalini has been raised to different levels or not you are a fraction of the totality realizing the truth remaining one with the truth is requires requiring certain kind of a practice such as the kundalini meditation which is what we teach in our kundalini yoga we help you to realize this truth that you are a fraction of the totality and we give you methods to be one with the almighty force when the realization that you are a fraction of the totality sticks to your mind from morning to night throughout the day you will not see a difference between you and anything else around you everything else will become one and the only one and such is the state of yoga to be one with nature is yoga be blessed by the Lord.